in the bar. Perfect. Ah. What? How did this happen? Don't pick up, don't pick up, don't pick up, don't pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. No voice mail for you, Sean. Richard. Perfect. I think it finally has.
Hello, this is Maxwell Speedwell from the Lewisburg Gazette. How can I help you? Why do you want to know about the Brothshaw Manor? Um, with whom am I speaking with? There's a question already being asked. I'm sorry, um, I was asked by the Littlesbrough's mayor to, um, make a tourism video and I need some historical information about the town's most haunted building. I live at 31 Crescenton Avenue. I want my story to be heard. I'll be sure that it does, but I am contacting another previous owner and I would want to know which one I'm speaking with. I was the third owner. Hello? Hello, this is Maxine Speedwell from the Littlesbrough Gazette. How can I help you? Hello, Miss Speedwell. This is the first officer, William McGovern, from the Littlesbrough State Penitentiary. Uh, I believe you attempted to contact a Mr. Richard Jenkins. Yes, that's correct. I'm afraid he's unavailable for a phone call, as he is currently in here with us. He's been arrested? Uh, can I ask what for? It's public record as of this morning, so of course, um, for the abduction and murder of Sean Bronco. Oh my gosh, um, the Broncos case has been solved? That's right, Miss Speedwell. Well, um, I, I, I would still want, um, Rich's perspective on the Rothschild matter. Am I able to still visit him? Yes, of course. Uh, you would be his first visitor. Perfect. Um, is tomorrow okay? Absolutely. Have a good day, Miss Speedwell. Great. Right here? Okay. Yep. Okay. Miss Speedwell? Mr. Jenkins? The pleasure is entirely mine, uh, Miss Speedwell. Oh, please, Maxine. Um, thank you, Mr. Jenkins, for um, coming to meet with me. I'm happy to help with anything you wish to ask me. So, um, um, before we begin, I just want to mention that uh, I'm not going to ask you or talk about the reason why you're in here, okay? Thank you for uh, clarification. I, I was actually worried about that. Um, okay. Um, so Sandy, uh, what was your motive behind purchasing Rothschild Manor? Well, I'm very, well, at least, I'm only kind of interested in the historical buildings of Littlesborough. Um, and I've been after the Rothschild Manor for years, and as soon as they had finished renovations and the uh, I believe it was the second owner. Um, after they disappeared, I didn't hesitate to purchase it. I see. Uh, was the Brothshaw Manor your first purchase in the haunted house market? This is the first haunted manor that I've purchased, but um, about six months before I purchased it, I had a few small haunted barns and haunted small buildings, but um, nothing like the... Uh, esteem and especially the notoriety of Brothshire Manor. I, I see. And, um, well, since you're in the haunted house uh, business, would you say that the Brothshire Manor is the most haunted out of your previous purchases? Oh, 100%. This is by far the most haunted building I've ever purchased. What was that, Miss Speedwell? What was what? Never mind. Um, okay, so as we both know, ghosts and paranormal activity is a driving force into tourists coming to Littlesborough. Would you say that the percentage of crime is a result of that? I thought... I thought we weren't going to talk about that. Oh, I'm... I, 
as I said, I'm, we're not going to be talking about the reason why you're in here. Um, I don't know if you know this, but the previous few front pages of the Littlesbrook Gazette has been about, you know, burglary this or the disappearance of that. And I'm a journalist and I want to cover all bases. I guess I've added to that percentage, huh? Again, I, I don't want to talk about that. So, um, what uh, drew you to Littlesborough yourself? I know that you didn't grow up here. Uh, no, I didn't grow up in Littlesborough. I was actually born in Bunsville. Uh, my mother and I escaped when I was only a baby, so I have hardly any memories about it. But from the little things she has told me about that town, um, I just guess I've always been interested in haunted buildings. Um, what was the first crime that you heard that took place in Littlesborough? Well, I guess it was Little Cathy and the Brothshaw Manor. So you knew about Cathy Brothshaw and the Brothshaw Manor? I didn't know you knew that I was a previous owner of the Brothshaw Manor. Mr. Larkman, in terms of tourist interest, what would you say is the selling point of Brothshaw Manor? Well, the selling point of Brothshaw Manor is the legend behind it. You know, even if I wasn't into the paranormal, I would still be, you know, interested in it. Everyone loves a good ghost story. And how was Brothshaw Manor as a ghost story? I do believe you held ghost tours there? That's correct, you know, history. Um, the tours only lasted for uh, not even... Uh, maybe like less than a year. Um, I wanted people all over the nation to see the reconstructed bedroom of Cathy's. And um, why did the tours only go for a year? To be honest, I'm not really sure. Maybe one of the priests that we brought in to cleanse it did a very good job and exorcised her spirit. But there was one day where I... Oh, there was one tour. There was one specific tour that um, we all went into the room and the energy was just kind of off but like in a good way like there was no sudden spirit there um and because the spirit or the energy of the room was cleansed or at least more relaxing and it wasn't causing patrons to faint and nosebleed and so forth um after a week of that kind of concerning um two weeks after that i sold it does that mean i no longer get to call you uncle what did you say, Miss Speedwell? Are you still my uncle, Uncle Sandy? Miss Speedwell, are you all right? I am no longer Maxine. This isn't funny, Maxine. I am no longer Maxine, Uncle Richard, I... Well... Your darling Kathy is back. Maxine, cut it out. Maxine, please stop this. I, I don't want to do this interview if you're going to pretend to... Oh. Little, um... Little Maxine can't pretend to be Kathy, but uh, you can pretend to be my uncle. That's not fair. How did you find me again, Catherine? I want the truth, Sir Sterling Larkman. You knew the cause of my nightmares, and I suffered because I didn't know myself. I suffered. I suffered so terribly. I was trying to protect you, Cathy. You were trying to protect yourself financially, Uncle Sandy. I was in the cold and in the dark and in the fire, and you saw nothing, and you saved yourself. It wasn't entirely my fault, Catherine. You appointed me that name and I rolled with it, knowing that I was talking to the spirit of a little girl lost in the fire. You walked into my bedroom one night, the night I purchased the house, and you wanted me to blow out all the candles when the entire room was dark. I knew exactly who you were and what you wanted and why you were there, so I took that golden opportunity and I had to run with it. As soon as I realised who you were and what you wanted and why you were still there after the fire, I knew I couldn't pass up this opportunity to put Littlesborough on the map of being the most, the most, most haunted town in the nation. You did not just purchase a house, 
Sandy, you... You bought my home. You bought the Brothshaw Manor. No, that isn't fair, Ka Ma Catherine. You were just a child. I, I couldn't just leave you in that manor by yourself. I was fine before you came along, Richard. And I certainly didn't... I certainly didn't... I certainly didn't need a replacement for Boris. Boris Thwau lived a good and long life, well, uh, well away from Littlesborough and your manor. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. La 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 la. I'm not listening. I am not listening. No, you will listen, mm -mm 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 -mm. Catherine. Boris may have been influenced in his early career about your death, but his poems were not always about you. We always wrote together. Me and Boris, we... We wrote for each other. About each other. We... Loved each other, Richard. Boris the Wow is in heaven now, child. And it's where you should be too. You know, Sean Bronco is in heaven too. What did you say? Sean. I, Sean, he was destined only to be a resident of the Brothshaw Manor only in life, but not in death. What are you saying? Your plan, Uncle Richard, your plan didn't go as you had planned. Sean, sweet Sean, the second owner. He was nice, gentle, but a bit of a loner. You baked him a pie laced with lead. You served it and he ended up dead. I didn't poison Sean Bronco. I poisoned murder. It doesn't matter. You are still a bad man, Uncle Richard. I wanted his spirit to be with you so that you weren't so lonely in that house. And when I was gone, I wanted you to be safe in that manner and not by yourself. I didn't want anyone else except Boris. And I reckon that the house knew that I didn't want anyone else. So we rejected anyone who wasn't Boris. I took a life. For nothing. The Brothshaw Manor only harbours one soul. Your soul increased tourism to the town and kept me employed. Your employment exploited my family's legacy. And once I disappeared, you saw nothing, so you left. Since the truth's coming out, yes. Yes, I used you for money. And as soon as I realised you were gone, or you went to heaven, or wherever the hell you went, I knew that house became nothing to me. Have you been waiting for this moment? For revenge? To avenge your own spirit? To avenge Boris? You got what you wanted. Why can't you just leave it like that? What was your goal coming here? Maxine. Maxine. I, I don't want to talk to Catherine anymore. I want to talk to Maxine. Is she still in there? Can you, Maxine, can you hear me? She can't hear you. Uncle Richard. She, she can't hear anything anymore. You killed her. You're not the only murderer in this room. Just leave me alone. I'm sorry, what was that? I said, leave me alone. <laughs> Uncle Richard, my name is Catherine Agatha Grace Brothshaw and I will never leave you alone. Hmm. I wonder why the guard left. God, I don't want to be alone with you. That guard was supposed to be protecting me against you. I highly doubt he will protect you against me. Do you want to kill me? Of course not, Richard. Although you did abandon me, neglect Amelia, murder Sean, but I still want you to live. Want me to live? I want you to live because I want every day to be a reminder of the pain that you have caused. I want you to live with your pain. I want you to exist in your suffering, Richard. You can't say anything. You can't say anything bad to me that I'm already saying to myself. That is true, but I'm not going anywhere. Catherine?
Can you hear me? Ka Catherine, can you hear me? Oh. Ow. Oh. Why are you calling me Catherine? Oh, what happened? Oh. Um, Miss Speedwell, you fainted. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, to be honest, lately I've been having some weird dizzy and fainting spells. Um, to be honest, I don't remember the last question you asked me. Well, I, I reckon that with all the notes I've taken, um, I think I'll have more than enough sufficient um, notes for the video that I plan to make with the mayor. So um, thank you very much, Richard, for your time um, today. Um, I guess I'll follow the guard out. I wonderful to meet you too, Miss Speedwell. Thank you, Richard, for your time. Finally, both my uncles in the same place. We'll get on like a house on fire. Maxine, you have a package. Oh, perfect. Just what I've been waiting for. Amazing, amazing, perfect. You wanna watch it? <laughs>